Good morning and happy first week of nursing school. So, as you can tell, I'm going to try and vlog this week. No matter how gross I feel, I'm gonna try and do it. Sorry this lighting sucks. The last few days have been rough. I'm just gonna tell you all about it as I make my smoothie. Cause I need some good nutrients to start out this day. What had happened was on Wednesday, I started feeling a little congested. My throat was kind of hurting, but I just figured it was because it's my normal like sinus infection because the weather had went from being like 70 to like 30 overnight. Of course I went to Passion, so I was around a lot of people. I kept making sure I didn't have a temperature. I didn't have a cough, it was really just a sore throat because of my congestion. I vlogged on Wednesday, getting my planner, and then I had to go to work on Wednesday night. Of course I like, am wearing a mask the whole time. Thursday, I still pretty much the same sick, just maybe like a little more congested in my throat, so my throat was like a little more sore. And so I called my floor and was like, hey, I'm having these symptoms i wanted to work but i also didn't want to be like irresponsible and work and then me like get people sick even though i do have a mask on i still feel like there's the risk so i called and they were like oh you don't have a fever when you're coming in I'm sure it was because like a lot of people were calling out because we had gotten a lot of snow that day sadly this whole time i haven't been able to enjoy the snow because i worked wednesday night i slept all day thursday and then i went again thursday night then i slept like a little bit on friday and friday saturday and sunday i just was not feeling good so i didn't want to go outside so then saturday morning i just woke up like right whenever the urgent care opened and i went over there and i was like hey these are my symptoms can i get either a covid test a strep or flu whatever hang on this is my well i just missed their call whoops <laughs> it's fine i'll leave a message hopefully it's because literally our whole freaking ceiling is cracked but it's fine i got a test saturday morning they tested me for strep and flu they said it didn't even look like i had covid she said most covid patients have like a constant like productive cough with mucus like coming up all the time i tested negative for strep and flu and then they prescribed me a z-pack which i was really excited about because i've never had a z-pack before i normally just deal with it and like take sudafed or benadryl or whatever because i just have never seen the point of getting antibiotics but i was like we'll do it because i'm starting school monday and i want to get better faster okay they did leave a voicemail i do need to listen to this oh shoot i really don't want to call them back because i really want to talk to you so i'm going to finish this and then i'll call them while i'm drinking my smoothie so you're supposed to take two antibiotics the first day and then you take one the rest of the time so i took two i was like yeah i'm gonna get better yeehaw like i was already feeling better saturday morning when i woke up because i took a benadryl on friday night saturday goes by i'm just like exhausted because i went to kroger and like went grocery shopping and i just did a lot of things and i had been resting man i do be getting really hot right now so then me and rebecca go to play monopoly because i got monopoly friends version for christmas i just like start getting these horrible stomach pains i was like what in the world like it feels like the stomach pains that i get whenever I eat dairy. It's the kind of stomach pain where you gotta get to the toilet. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is TMI, but you know, this is just what has happened to me. And basically that just proceeded like to happen three or four more times. I'd get super nauseous, really bad stomach pains, and I would just end up on the toilet and like nothing left in my body. And by Saturday afternoon and evening, I was feeling like crap because I had depleted literally every nutrient and fluid in my body basically. I looked up the side effects and I had like four of the six main side effects. My mom's a nurse so like I've been talking to her this whole time. I'm crying because she's not there, you know. All the adult things. Oh shoot, I got it. Man, he really called and then was like, I can't wait for her to call me back. So I'm going to go and knock on her door. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to continue this vlog later because the dude just came over and was like, we need to fix this immediately. And we might be getting kicked out if it's worst case scenario. Hopefully that's not the case because literally the first day of nursing school, I'll update you later. Basically, don't have COVID. I'm more sick from the diarrhea. The chick was like, that's not a normal symptom. So when a doctor tries to prescribe you Z-Pack, say no, don't take any of the other medication. I was like, don't worry girl, I didn't take any more. And so now I have a medication that I can say that I'm allergic to because it was horrible. Yeah, and then I started my period today, so <laughs> we're just thriving. Well, he just looked at it and he said that it's not a big deal and we're not gonna have to move out. He can fix it right away. Hopefully it's actually not bad. Now I finished my smoothie because I drank it while I was talking to him because I was like, I got to leave for school in like 10 minutes. Let's show you the fit. This is my little grandma turtleneck sweatshirt thing from Goodwill. And this is like four years old, so it's be courageous. These are my Goodwill sweatpants. And then my new, my new Allbirds. I feel like they just make me look so cool. I've never worn like actual shoes before. 
my class this morning is fundamentals, but so much has happened that I haven't even thought about that yet. I'm just gonna try and get to my class early so then I can maybe look at my classes in my class before my class starts. I'm gonna go to fundamentals, I'm gonna go to Spanish, and then hopefully I'm just gonna come back here because I don't really wanna make or pack my lunch. That's what we're gonna do. It's now one o'clock. I came home to make lunch. But honestly, I kinda feel like I'm not gonna do Spanish. I wasn't prepared to feel so dumb going into it. I know one of the reasons that I couldn't pull like any of the information was one, cause like I haven't looked at it in so long too, because the medication I'm on is just like not working well with my brain. I just feel like I would have felt peace there, but I really just felt stupid. And I was just thinking about how much work it's going to be. And like nursing school is already going to be so much work. And I just, I really don't, I haven't been able to talk to anyone about it yet because i called my mom she didn't answer went to my advisor's office and she i guess was on lunch i'm obviously not going to make any decisions by myself and i'm going to pray about it and i know it's the first day but i also don't want to buy the textbook that's like 200 dollars that i won't ever use again if i end up dropping it anyway i'm sad about it but i'm honestly not too bummed about it because i know so much spanish already and if i brush up on it and make sure that i stay good at it and do other things like over the summer or something thing to help with it i just feel like this is gonna be a lot but fundamentals went really well and i felt really good about the material we learned today just because i pretty much know all of it from working at the hospital i'm just gonna eat talk to my mom chill for a second i need to like plan out everything and buy my textbooks i just don't like feel here whenever i like look around it just like i just don't feel oriented i don't know i just do not feel right in the head so maybe i shouldn't be able to make this decision but i also don't want to go back to that class just didn't feel it. So I'm gonna make me some avocado toast and chill. Maybe I'll talk to you later. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better mentally. My cheeks are really red because I just got out of the shower, but when I got home, I was just basically really stressed out because I didn't know if I was gonna be able to do Spanish, which I'm still not sure. I do feel a lot better. I've cried a lot, but the 75% refund deadline is not until like the 24th of January. So I'm gonna give class another try, but honestly, I'm not confident that I'm gonna do it. I want my first semester of nursing school to be good and not chill, but kind of chill. If the Lord really wants me to do Spanish, then I'm gonna find another way. I'm still praying about it. I was this close to like dropping the class though, but then my mom was like, no. If the 75% refund is the same now as it is after you try class again on Wednesday, then you need to just do it. And I was like, okay. But I just put on my scrubs because I have to wear my scrubs tomorrow for lab. So yeah. Feeling better? Okay, so I just realized that it's Thursday and I haven't vlogged at all. I mean, nothing big has happened. Fundamentals lab went well. Yesterday I had health assessment for the first time and it was really interesting. And then I went to Spanish for the last time and then I dropped the class. So that's kind of sad because yesterday was actually a good class. Monday I was just like super emotional, but yesterday was actually a good class. And then my mom came up and had dinner with us. And then yesterday I made like a layout, maybe I'll insert it here, but it just shows like my schedule for the whole week. So I just went ahead and sent that to all my friends so that they know when I have free slots. And it was really satisfying and really fun to do. I've printed out all the stuff. I have health assessment lab today. I have to make up my badge photo because since I wasn't there for orientation, like I talked about in my last video, the contractor is supposed to be coming today for the apartment. That's pretty much it. And then I'll have small groups tonight. Nothing really has went on. Monday was just a really hectic, interesting day. So yeah, nothing monumental happening right now and then tomorrow I'm supposed to have pharmacology but the teacher got quarantined so first class is just a recording which kind of sucks because it's a three hour class i'm probably not going to cook until saturday or sunday i finally finished all my food that i made in my last vlog yesterday which it was like right on the dot of being a week old so it's fine i went and got pad thai last night so that was nice and i have leftovers since i went with my brother and my brother doesn't believe in leftovers i have his leftovers as well he got the same thing as me just with udon noodles i'm just gonna have the pad thai today for lunch and then my mom brought me chili that she made so i'll probably have that tonight and then i'll probably make is tomorrow then I'll worry about grocery shopping and meal prepping this weekend. So maybe I'll include that in this vlog. I'm not sure. I don't know how much footage I have. I just realized that I could have had so much content, but uh, it's fine. So I literally just cooked so much in such a short period of time. It's only been like an hour and a half, which isn't bad. I made this glorious Mexican casserole. 
And I definitely made a lot more than last time. I think last time I might have hacked the recipe slash I didn't actually put as much stuff in there as it said to. But this time I really loaded it in there. The reason that I wanted to make this is because I can eat it by itself. I can eat it over greens like a salad. I can put it over tortilla chips like nachos. It's just a good thing to have. It's a recipe from Julia. Ayers, Ayers, I don't know how you say it. But I did do some things differently. I didn't use the spices she did. I used chili powder and cumin instead. But she used a jalapeno. I just used a green pepper that I had cut up and froze. Also like an onion that I had cut up and froze. I didn't know it, but they sell these little tiny little diced tomatoes. It's basically like the tomatoes of Rotel, but just like not spicy. It's just the tomatoes. And then there's rice, sweet potatoes, black beans, corn, that green pepper, the onion. I think... That's it, but it looks pretty tasty. And then I also was just in the mood to make my favorite chocolate chip cookies. I'll link both of these recipes down below. I might cook it for just like a smidge longer. I feel like the casserole turned out way better than last time. And I did two sweet potatoes because she said one large sweet potato and I only had like two really tiny ones. I also need to do the towels because I washed them, but I have not yet put them up. Just started eating one of these cookies. So good. I just realized that I didn't say that I replaced a lot of these ingredients. Instead of coconut oil, I use vegan butter. I used to use applesauce, but vegan butter just like levels it up so much that I can't not use it now. Plus that crunch. Mm. I don't leave any of the oats full. I blend it all. I use a little less coconut sugar than normal. I add like a tad of cinnamon, but I don't think that does much of a difference. Mm. I just wanted to kind of get a recap of my first week in nursing school because it's Friday at 2.30. So I'm done with classes. I think that the first week of nursing school went really well. Obviously, first week is probably gonna be the easiest week ever out of nursing school. I really enjoy being in classes that I actually wanna learn about. It's so nice because I just was sitting in lecture and I was just like typing away at my notes and I just was like, wow, this is not like this last semester. Like every class I hated, like I did not wanna learn about. But now I actually get to learn about things that I'm actually like interested in learning. It makes me really happy. It's been a really good first week. It was unexpected for me to drop Spanish. I really didn't expect that. I was like, Spanish four is gonna be easy because it's an overview one, two, and three. You're just like adding vocab. It's just like an, a lot of outside work, a lot of homework. Nursing school is already that. Like I already have to do things outside of class to prepare for class. And then after class, I have to study for that class. And then I also have lab and like all this stuff and skills I need to check off and just all this like outside work other than class. Spanish was basically gonna be that as well. I'm here to get a bachelor of science in nursing, not a minor in Spanish. I don't have to have a minor in Spanish to speak Spanish either. What I really wanna do is I wanna find like another outlet for Spanish. That's what I want to be able to do. I want to be able to communicate with people who speak Spanish and I want to be able to like connect with them and make them feel loved and heard and comfortable. Me taking this class would have just been more stress, more homework, and it probably would have made me like really irritated and would have kind of severed that love for Spanish just because it would have been so much extra stress and work. I've already dropped it, so you can't convince me. <laughs> yeah, but I've been really productive. We didn't have pharmacology today. We just watched it online, which it literally was a 20 two minute video so that was kind of confusing why it was so short if it's a three hour class so i did that and then printed out all my stuff that i need and then i came back here and i made that casserole made the cookies unloaded the dishwasher did the towels have washed all my dishes from everything i'm feeling good so yeah that was my first week of nursing school i think i'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because i feel like there's a lot of clips and a lot of randomness i don't know what this thumbnail is gonna look like. I don't know what this editing is gonna look like. I do not know anything. I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Sorry, it was literally just me sitting here this whole week just telling you what's going on, but that just seems to be how it is whenever I do week in the lives. It just ends up being me updating you every day on what's going on and not actually taking you anywhere, but it's fine. I hope y'all still like these videos. I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. And comment down below if you're in college, what year you are, what your major is, when did you or do you start school, what videos you wanna see from me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.